the Jedi Sith and all who the Force wills and welcome to another video of all things Star Wars. With the Ahsoka series coming to a close, I thought it only fitting to review the Ahsoka inspired lightsaber from End Sabers. Taking inspiration from Ahsoka's lightsaber from Rebels, Mandalorian, and the Ahsoka series, these sabers bring the style you love in a straight handled rounded grip that gives you the feel of Ahsoka's legendary white bladed sabers, but in an easy to hold and spin form factor. Looking at the grip, not only do you get the diamonds on the side of her lightsaber, like her screen used saber, but you also get the rounded emitter and a little nod to her fulcrum roots in Rebels. Coming down to the pommel, it might look fairly mundane for a lightsaber, but it has the ability to screw off and be replaced by an End Sabers brand coupler that allows for double bladed action. Now the lightsaber I received is the baselet version, which usually means a major downgrade in the functionality compared to their NeoPixel counterparts. However, with these lightsabers, they still pack a decisive punch in features and playability, while doing what NeoPixel can't and being dual worthy, which is great considering you'd want two for Ahsoka anyways. So you can take one, change the blade color, change the sound font, and you can recreate any dual from any Star Wars property. <laughs> the lightsaber comes with 16 sound fonts and 12 colors to play however you want, while also including flash on clash, blaster block, saber lock, three blade animations, and the best smooth swing I've ever seen in a baselet lightsaber. Like a raven here. It even has motion controls that allow you to turn it on and turn it off just by twisting your wrist. Now while this lightsaber is incredible for what you get, there are some downfalls. The biggest being that while you get 16 sound fonts, you only get one sound per thing that you get for each sound font. So say you want to do some flash on flash. It's the same sound over and over again. Or if you want to do some blaster block. It's the same thing. Where if you compare it to their NeoPixel lightsaber. They're completely different. Oh. <laughs> but overall, what do I think of this lightsaber? First off, the lightsaber is comfortable in your hand and gives the feel of Ahsoka's lightsaber without the kind of awkward grip that you get with her actual screen use sabers. And it also comes with some fantastic features that while limited can make for some really fun play. Now, mind you, this lightsaber can come in the NeoPixel format as well. So a lot of the comments that I have are more on the soundboard than it is on the lightsaber itself. But what do you think? Do you think the sacrifice of its screen accurate counterpart outweighs the comfortability? Or maybe it would fill a gap that you want this to stay on your shelf and be displayed. And this allows for you to be able to go out and have some fun. In the end, the choice is completely up to you. But for me, I'm gonna go have some fun, swing this around with some friends. After all, isn't that what Star Wars is all about? Having fun and enjoying this fandom with the people that we love. And on that, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to make the YouTube Lords happy with all the buttons down below. And I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you.